Gaming has certainly changed throughout the years. Our entire concept of playing games has gone from something quite simplistic into an ever-evolving world of progress and advancements. Once the world of cryptocurrency and DeFi began to meld with game development, the possibilities rippled throughout the gaming community, and projects began to arise offering limitless potential to their users. The idea of turning a profit for your time spent gaming was once only attainable by the utmost elite players drafted by professional teams. Now, not so much. Any ordinary person can reach into the world of monetized gaming and quite often make a reasonable wage for simply playing a game. So today, in no specific order, we are going to look at five games that if you play, you can actually make some decent money. Alrighty, so let's kick this video off. We are starting with a game called Alien Worlds. Now, Alien Worlds is a passive game where you can collect and stake these cards. Now, now, I kind of call it staking, but in reality it is slotting. You collect these cards on the Wax blockchain, which you can accumulate from the Atomic Hub marketplace, and you can see there are different rarities and different abilities or use cases to each of these cards. Now, once you collect these cards that will allow you to mine, you will select a specific planet that you would like to mine on. So basically, the concept of this game is a passive income earner once you have your mining cards or your mining nfts you can select a planet that you would like to mine on based on the rewards that are offered on that planet so you will then slot your cards depending on the rarity and depending on the planet as many as you can and you will earn this passive tlm cryptocurrency now you can exchange of course your tlm cryptocurrency for wax or another crypto of your choosing but this game is really good for people that do not want to have a completely hands-on experience you want to set it and forget it and at the end of a certain period a day eight hours or what have you you can just go in collect your currency rewards collect your staking rewards re-slot your nfts for the next allotted time period and basically let it run and earn you passive income now this is the classic tower defense style game where you can use these collectible NFTs as cards or tokens or players inside of the game to, yes you guessed it, run your tower defense strategies as best as you can and hopefully earn more and rarer NFTs or cards which you basically can then keep building upon. So once you have your initial set of cards you go through as many levels as you can with them, upgrade your NFTs in hopes of getting better ones. Now while this isn't the most passive as it is hands-on while you are playing through your levels and playing through your tower defense grounds it is something that if you take the time and spend the time to upgrade your nfts and upgrade your tokens which can be used by multiple players in the tower defense world you can then sell those make some money pocket that profit and start over upgrading your tower defense characters thus continuously looping effort and profit on the back end. While it's not passive, like I said, it definitely is a fun game and it's one to look at if you're looking to make money on the play to earn platform. The third one we're going to be talking about is Edgy Veggies. Now if you have any experience with games like Farmville or other farming simulators, you will be right at home with the Edgy Veggies. This is an NFT play to earn farming simulator that while it's not extremely passive while you are playing there is wonderful opportunity this game is absolutely brand new which means if you're seeing this you are ground floor you're one of the first people seeing it now I wasn't paid to promote or talk about any of the games in this video but I'm trying to find a great variety so if you are a fan of the Farmville or farming simulator type games 
this might be just what you are looking for. With an extremely low barrier to entry, costing only a couple dollars to get started, this is a game that not only is an extremely fun way to pass the time, but it can also bring in that passive income. Yes, while you are tending to your farm, it is quite the hands-on experience. When you are not playing, everything is still moving, which means along with the other games, if you're playing a multitude of passive income games, this just adds to the stack or adds to the pile. So if you haven't, Edgy Veggies is one that you may very well end up earning a decent amount of money for a very minimal amount of effort. Now, coming in at number four, we actually have one of my favorite, favorite play to earn games. And I've actually been playing this game for around two years now, and I can personally attest you can make some serious freaking cash playing this game. Now, in the first month of playing this game, I played probably. 80 to 100 hours, I kid you not, and this game is called Lost Relics. There's actually a full tutorial video on this channel telling you how to get started and explaining the ins and outs. Now if you're a fan of the dungeon crawler genre like Diablo, this will be your game, I promise you that. Within the first week of playing this game, I got a weapon drop that I sold, I kid you not, for $1600. Now, that is not something that I have seen again, but I have, throughout the time of playing, have collected skins, pets, armor, weapons, and more that have sold for quite a bit of money. While this is not, and I repeat that, this is not a passive income game as of yet, there are talks of in the future being able to rent out things such as weapons and armor and other items. Right now this is a very hands-on game. You run the dungeon, you get your drops, you search through your inventory and list on the marketplace, and you then wait Wait for it to sell and cash out your profits. This is one of the best games I have ever played on the play to earn platform. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay and style is absolutely a pleasure to uh, pleasure to participate in. I mean, everything about this game is absolutely fantastic. Again, none of this is paid promotion or anything. These are all just my thoughts. If I thought a game was terrible, well, then it wouldn't be in the list. But Lost Relics, if I had to rank all these, actually Lost Relics would probably be number one. Uh, this is an amazing way to spend your time if you want to play a game and earn legitimate income. There are people that are earning a part-time wage playing this game. Now outside of the events such as Halloween events, Christmas events, Thanksgiving, and so on, there is a steady player base on Lost Relics and steady market activity. Now Lost Relics runs on the engine platform and if you want to get an idea of what things sell for and how often, you can go to enginex.io slash marketplace and check out the live market activity for this game at any point in time and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be surprised to find there are a lot of people spending a lot of money on this game if you happen to get one of those transcendent weapon drops you're looking anywhere north of 8,000 USD just for that weapon well it is rare it is possible and it is a wonderful way to earn money while gaming. Alrighty, and last but certainly not least, we have the TCG or trading card game on the blockchain called Splinterlands. Now Splinterlands has been around for a hot minute, but this whole space is very, very new. So Splinterlands is something that has basically all aspects of a physical collectible card game. They have the collectible assets with the marketplace where you can buy, trade, and sell, and they have the secondary markets as well. But what exactly is Splinterlands? Well, it is a TCG where you collect your in-game loot and then either rent it out, sell it to other players, or simply play through the game 
and have some fun. Now, this one is, unlike the others, very good passive income. The time you invest into Splinterlands and earning your NFTs can earn you passive income on their rent to earn marketplace. Each one of these unique collectible assets can be sold, traded, or yes, you heard that right, rented out to other players. That means if you collect these NFTs and put the initial hands-on time in, it will pay off in the form of being able to rent your NFTs to other players for passive income every single day, which is why Splinterlands takes the cake, in my opinion, when it comes to hands-off passive income on blockchain NFT games.